Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War and Maximus Black, and we're bringing you another normal ass normal game sent in by the fans of replays.lifesglitchtv at gmail.com. Mr. Maximus Black, yes, hit me up with the sound of all the poor iPhone users that have been seeing those amazing Samsung Galaxy S3 commercials. Ah, oh, shit, so sour about not getting that Samsung Galaxy S3 or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> now I got iPhone 17. <laughs> Oh, what a win for Samsung. I love them so much. I almost wanted to sell my Atrix to just go out and buy a, one? a Samsung S3. Because it just looks friggin' like sex. I'll probably get the iPhone 5, but that's just because I'm a name brand whore. And I'm not a big fan of change. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Good news, though. <laughs> it Good news, though. At all. iPhone doesn't change <laughs> at all. Yeah. Woo! That's the joke. Yeah. Da -da -dum all right, and uh, yeah. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on what? What is this map? Something. This is Antigua the freaking. Shipyard. Is this Antigua? I haven't seen Antigua in a while. Really? I see it every day. Well, in our casts, anyway. Oh, okay. And over here in the left position, we're looking at Lichboo. For some reason, that just rings racist to me. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know why. It just sounds like it. You know, it doesn't <laughs> for me. But I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> and up here in the top left position, we're looking at. Vase Nego. Now that. <laughs> now that. That has a hint of racist. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Perfect. All right. All right. So we got Racism Vase. for we everyone. Got, we got Vase Nego. All right. So uh, Lynch, we, Lynch Boo. We have a hatch first. Lich Boo. Hatch first versus uh, something. Forge fast Looks expand. like Forge Fast Expand. Yep. So great. That's pretty standard. <clears throat> yep. Oh, yeah. Very standard. And uh, this is actually a decent position for the Zerg. I mean, it's not... Uh, obviously, Zerg wants a cross position. Um, actually, no, this is... Uh, this is no, this, is, no, the, this gonna, is exactly what they want. No, 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 no. No, this is, this is bad for Zerg. Uh, these positions are bad because uh, you put a pylon up here, and you can easily oh, warp, warp down, in. and then it cuts the, yeah, yeah. Cuts the space yeah. down. That's uh, true. If, if it's cross positions, they don't have to worry about that. That's true. Um, but yeah, th this is really, really good for, for Protoss if they want to do 7-gate all-in, if they want to do uh, um, a, a Mortal Century all-in, stuff like that. It's just very, very easy. You can pick off the rocks uh, down this way. Uh, it's just so easy to get rid of a third, and, and Zergs really don't like it. What the fuck do I know about StarCraft? Nothing, but that's okay. That's the point. You're, you're sexy, and you got that's that the, voice. That's, that's all we need here. Hey, so all you need is this smooth jazz 101.9 voice. Mm. Mm. Sooner or later, Light TV will go into like the realm of every other video game ever, and I'll feel way more comfortable. Because yeah. then I'll be able to talk about shit ad nauseum, and I'll actually sound intelligent. Here, I'm just like, hey, who the da 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 retard humping a doorknob. It's basically that. Hey, that's, that's, that's all right. So, I have great stories, though. You have wonderful stories. I have you? wonderful stories. Uh -huh. mm. Roach Warren, wow. He's actually going to go with a uh, two-base Ling Roach push, which uh, can be very, very troublesome for Protoss if they don't scout this out. Is that not basically the standard counter to a Forge Fast Expand? Uh, it can be, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can do the Ling Roach, especially on this map, if they don't do they don't uh, wall up over wall here. Up, yeah. It's very, very easy. Uh, and a lot of times the, the Protoss gets very complacent. They think that, oh yeah, things are cool. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and probe up real heavy. I got this cannon here that's going to save me. That's sick cannon, dude. Yeah, but no, when a bunch of roaches and links come down, if you don't go one gate robo or if you don't pop out four gates relatively quickly or put down a couple of extra cannons, uh, I guess mainly if you don't scout it, you are screwed. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and if they don't kill you right off the bat, they can definitely get rid of your expand and then you're way behind. Well, usually all you have to do is get rid of most of the threats for Zerglings and then just bring in fleets of Zerglings until you die. Mm -hmm. like that, that's, well, that's basically how all Zerg goes at any point in the game. Just yeah. kill you until the Zerglings will work and then just mass up Zerglings and kill you. So what, what he wants to do right now is he wants to take the Zealot out, which is what he's doing. Uh, he really wants to scout and see if, see if the Zerg got a third. Yeah, I mean, you have to tell that because if not, then you know that they're coming soon. Oh, absolutely. If you only see the two base, you know it's going to be some sort of uh, two base all-in push or it's going to be maybe a Muta play and then uh, it's going to be trouble as well. That's actually good that he saw those four Zerglings there. That's going to give him a little bit of a hint and, uh, as to what maybe is going on because normally if he was really just scouting with those two, you don't only have seen two Zerglings and so having those two there or having those four there and well, Oh, losing that, that would be oh, unfortunate. Man, that's terrible. That is unfor- and wow, that Zergling actually managing to survive that but attack, and here's- very, very- I don't know why he managed to put up another cannon. That's a great place for it, though. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's a really awesome place for a cannon. It's gonna uh, cause Zerg a lot of trouble, and I don't know what kind of information gave him 
to put that up there, but he did. So that's pretty luck. Cause maybe I know he was just me. maybe just covering his, all of his bases. Yeah, at that yeah, yeah. no pun intended. Yeah, no. no. Um, but that you know having that there stops uh, uh, helps stop some of the wing runarounds and whatnot, and also of course helps to stop the roaches from just attacking the probes from the line back there. As you can see, right, that was a terrible yeah, that was a force a field. That was. That was unfortunate. Now he's going to get rid of that, and now he's going to have a little bit of free reign over some of these probes. He, you know, he isn't going to be able to use that very last uh, bottom right mineral patch, really. Um, he's actually going to lose a couple of probes here. as more uh, roaches streaming here, and four more on the way. Yep. At this point, really, get up in your base, get in the mortal, and dude, hope for the best. Yeah, he, he's uh, chrono boosting out an immortal now, which is always good to see. And he, I was going to say, don't lose that. Um, he is attacking this Nexus, but still, not all the Roaches are attacking this Nexus. He could definitely take it down if he was using all of his Roaches here and not letting them get tickled by these sentries that are actually doing damage. There you go, finally got rid of that. And I think, uh, I think Lich just bought himself enough time to actually hold this off. And that was poor ass unit uh, control there from our Zerg player. I mean, this shouldn't have happened. Nope, and it looks like he's going to get that Immortal out of the way as well. These Stalkers will go down, and that Sentry will go down as well. But yeah, he that, that Nexus should have been gone a while ago, and he's actually going to be able to hold these off. Yeah, I think absolutely. he's going to save his Nexus. The Shields will come back up. More Roaches on the way down. If a second Immortal were on the field, that would be epic. Unfortunately, he just does not seem to uh, feel like building that right now. I think we're going to wait for 100 Gas to, to come up. Oh, Supply. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and, now I'm sure and he's gonna build it. there yeah. it is. There it is. All right. Well, I don't know if he's going to be able to to continuously still, hold this. He can still kill this nexus, man. He just he, needs he to could just actually focus just fire on it, kill off this nexus, back off, and then start mapping. It would be worth it to lose most of those roaches if he took down that nexus. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I mean, he could have kited enough to maybe even just lose maybe two or three of those roaches. Oh, but... he's bringing down uh, a lot right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's... All right, that's going to help. Yeah, that's going to help. If that really. Nexus doesn't fall at this point, now nah, I'm just going to toss in the towel. <laughs> I'm going to toss it in. He's doing a great job of keeping this Immortal alive, and there's the second Immortal. That's trouble. And that is a bit of trouble. Still no Metabolic Boost yet for the Zerg, and actually Unless that, that, oh, that goes down, and there goes one very, very quickly. He does have a Sentry, so he is going to be able to put down a nice... You want to say that you want to uh, try that one more time? He does have a Sentry, and he totally screwed up that Force Field. All right, there you go. Uh, which was not good, but he, for some odd reason he is still holding this mainly because this epic cannon here with six kills and three kills back here uh, He's he's managing to hold is he finally gonna kill this Nexus Adam? No No, it's not because he doesn't actually have the units for it anymore He had it for a period of time. He could have actually sent the Zerglings in to just deal with the most of the threat killed it with the roaches and walked away. Instead, he dicked around in the bottom where there was an epic choke for uh, for Lich to be able to basically do whatever the hell he wanted to. Manhandled all of those Zerg units. Uh, and now he's going to be safe yet again. And here we are with uh, yeah, I Zerg. To, I, I don't to think the a... Zerg... No, the Zerg stopped drone... I was, gonna, I was just no, about to no, say that. No, there's no such... This is, this, when I said this was a two-base all-in... This is all-in. This is a two-base all-in. all of the production stopped forever. He wants to kill you. And the sad thing about it is, is he actually probably could have done it. Yep. Uh, or at least had gotten rid of the Nexus, which would have put Zerg on two base and Protoss on one, obviously, and he would have been in this game. But now it's 38 probes to 19 drones. Another Immortal is on the field. The Stalkers are, I'm not going to say piling up, but they're not dying at this point. So where, where does the Zerg go from here except to hell? Well, that's, that's unfortunate. He's got no hope. Straight, so, going right straight to HE double hockey sticks. Yep. Just You're dead. Forever to be tickled by Satan. Mm -hmm. Not Still. as comfortable as being tickled by sentries, by the way. We are almost 13 minutes into the game. Why so is this still to... happening? Wow, he's actually going to clean up Can this somebody up. please win? <laughs> because both of you could have. I mean, you know... Could have won like six times now. And by that I mean he could have got rid of that nexus, all of a sudden all of that mineral mi uh, mining there and gas mining is shut down for a period of time. He's on the two base, he could have, the all in, could have been almost turned into a not quite all in. He could have actually macroed because he'd be on two base to one, and instead here we are, having some freaking dance marathons back and forth, DDR sandstorm marathons as he cheap keeps trying to throw in roaches back and forth, dancing all over the place, still not killing the damn Nexus, and here comes his doom. Right here. This yep. is it. 
This is going to be zealots. They are going to go in and destroy all the drones forever. Not that there's that many. Yep. Not that there's that many. There's actually probably going to be as many zealots on the field as there are drones. This is what's probably going to happen. He's got 22 drones now. Uh, unfortunately, he is supply blocked once again very heavily. And now he's just putting down these pylons. And I think that this, this obviously, this attack is now being delayed because of that supply block, and that is going to help out oh, for God's uh, sake. Vaze very, very much. I mean, oh. he's been supply blocked ever since this uh, uh, war prism left the base, and that's pretty huge. And now he's only that was his okay. Chance. Now he's got now he's got a lot of supply, but Vaze, man, he's starting to get quite a bit of units. Take a look, eighty-one to seventy units supply. If he can, and look at this, he's going to spot that uh, warp oh. cycle. Those, no, oh, very hey, okay. Hey. All right. Okay. Credit where credit is due. All right. All right. That was good. Hey, that was good. That was good. That was great. That was well, good. guess what? That was not a great decision, though. No. Now Zell he's in no. trouble, and Metabolic no. Boost is going to finish in three, two, one. Everything dies right now. Go. Oh god, man. Doesn't this hurt your brain? This is everything hurting me Doesn't right now. Doesn't this hurt your brain? This is this is hurting my Those everybody. immortals are going to fall, and if not, at least these stalkers are. Yeah, he's gonna at least be able to pick off one of these immortals. Might even be able to catch up to this one here and pick this off. Oh, now wow. forced to get a bunch of cannons, and I don't think this is gonna work. That second immortal goes down at him, and I actually think Vaze is gonna pull this out of his ass because Finally! of a huge ass supply block, which allowed him to get even more units and allow him to produce some more larva, spit out those last two uh, major batches of units to be I able to hold, and that was it. I'm not even sure who deserves to win this game, because really, I mean, Lich held fairly valiantly for the first half of this game, yeah, and did. really went back and forth, and you know, some of it was because his opponent was completely insane. Uh, and the other half of it was he just actually had a good defend and a good base set up here. Great microing of the macro. Here comes another Immortal, which is basically going to be enough to finish this whole thing up. And, you know, I'm not even going to say that anymore, because every time I go to say something that should happen, it doesn't happen. I think Zerg is going to roll him here. Uh, he's just got way too much. As, as long as he just doesn't give up everything here, it, it just focus fire on the Immortal, kill it, and then he's got enough roaches here to be able to pick this... Come on, man. You... I saw, like I said, I'm not, I'm not even going to try anymore. Not even gonna there, try. There him. should be, but it, 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 he had so much more. He's not even gonna try anymore. Not even gonna bother. Look, a free overlord. Here, have one. Uh, you know what, Adam? This is this this game have is one. just is, this game's hurting my brain. It's hurting my brain. My hair grew nerves, and now it hurts. That's how bad this game is. Well, random parts of me, my nails, toenails are starting to hurt. Things that just don't even actually have any feeling are starting to scream at me in three or four different languages. 17 probes dead. Come on. To zero drones. Not one worker killed on that line, but only 17 probes. No, you don't go up now. So this is like... Okay, let's put it this... Let's put... Let's... let's we're the Zerg here for a All second. Right, you okay. go up there, you have way more units, but instead you're not... You're not focus firing on anything. You're just dicking... What? What was happening in his base? He had something warped in here. Go up. Really, that was the catalyst right there. Those four zealots. That was it. That's all she wrote. That queen didn't even die before he quit, quit the game. That queen saved by the bell. Dude, I, Zerg should have won that game in probably four or five different places. On that last push, he should have, he should <laughs> have cleaned up everything but he was like running towards an army taking hits and then running back and then he's like okay now I'm gonna go in and attack and no all right I'll wait for that immortal to come out and then I'll go in and attack and then waited for that to come out and started focus firing on it and then decided to not focus fire on it anymore immortal kill a couple more and so oh, yeah I think I'll finish it now run back go back in and then yeah that's pretty much he was just so I, I don't know indecisive uh, would be the word there there it is non-committal another another nice word for that um shitty would be another one. <laughs> uh, if we're gonna get a little more uh, aggressive with it, that was that was something. Yeah. You know what? I'm out of everything that came out of this game, though. I am gonna give it to Lich for the hold. I'm gonna give it to Lich for some decent yeah, building not? placement because he had some good stuff. Yeah, why not? Uh, and as for the other guy with the slightly more racist sounding name, just no. Just why? Yeah. Just just why? Mm. Well. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Another normal ass normal game. Hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to this channel. And uh, go watch our other channel. It's youtube.com slash life's a glitch TV 2. So all you need to do is go up top at your browser and add the number 2 
at the end of this channel. Guess what? You're there. You're there. That easy. More win happens there. Oh, yeah. And more win is going to happen there over time. Yeah. It's actually, we're going to, this shit's going to get real. It's going to get real, real. You know, you don't even know. Nobody else knows. There's going to be no plastic no. in there at all. It's going to be no. all natural. No. Real. Well, peace. Peace.